everyone and welcome back to our channel. In this week's video we will compare two of the very famous and popular CRM systems Zoha CRM and HubSpot. So before I begin this video please make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the notification button not to miss any useful information that we share here. So let's get on into the video. First of all I want to make a short overview of both of the CRM systems and show you how their user interface looks like. Starting off from Zoho CRM, which is a comprehensive customer relationship management platform designed to help businesses of all sizes engage with their customers, streamline their sales processes, and boost overall productivity. It offers a wide range of features, including sales automation, marketing automation, contact management, and analytics, all integrated into a user-friendly interface. Zoho CRM is highly customizable, allowing businesses to tailor the platform to their specific needs and workflows. With its robust integration capabilities, Zoho CRM can easily connect with other Zoho apps and third-party tools, providing a seamless ecosystem for managing customer interactions and data. If we're talking about the HubSpot CRM, it is a popular choice for businesses looking to manage their customer relationships effectively. It is known for its ease of use and intuitive interface, making it accessible for users of all skill levels. HubSpot CRM offers a comprehensive set of features, including contact and deal management, email tracking, and pipeline management. One of its standout features is its seamless integration with a broader HubSpot platform, which includes marketing, sales, and service hubs, allowing for a unified approach to customer relationship management. HubSpot CRM is also highly scalable, making it suitable for business ranging from startups to large enterprises. So now when you know a bit more about both of the CRM systems, let's compare the ratings of their users. So Forbes Advisor has made an article in 2024 comparing all of the different CRM systems, including Zoha CRM and HubSpot CRM. So according to the reviews of the users of HubSpot and Zoha CRM, HubSpot got a rating of 4.1 stars and Zoha CRM got a rating of 4.6 stars, making it the top rated CRM system in 2024. So as you can see, according to all of the different reviews of customers and also to the expertise from Forbes Advisor, Zoha CRM has a bit better rating overall than HubSpot CRM. And now let's move on to the comparison of obviously the features that both of the CRM systems provide or don't provide. And let's start from the lead and deal management. So there are some of the features that HubSpot lacks, for example, web to contact form, sales signals, cases, and solutions. So as you can see, HubSpot CRM lacks quite a few different features that Zoho CRM provides. And let's move on to another feature comparison that will be omni-channel support because providing support and gathering the leads from different channels is very important for any type of business. So both of the CRM systems provide telephony, automated call logging, email insights, and live chat. HubSpot lacks the features of online meetings and email parser, and there are some additional features that are additional paid-ons in HubSpot, such as enriching data from Twitter and Facebook and automated social media lead generation. The next criteria that we will compare both of the CRM systems is process management and automation. So HubSpot CRM only provides the assignment rules and approval rules and lacks a lot of important features such as review process, validation rules, macros, process builder, and journey builder. Obviously, any CRM system needs to be tailored to specific needs of a business. So let's talk about the customization options in Zoho CRM and HubSpot CRM. So both of the CRM systems provide such features as page customization, page layouts, and layout rules. HubSpot lacks features of validation rules and subforms. They also both provide the custom fields, custom modules, and sandbox, but HubSpot lacks the features of Pickle's history tracking, no-code design platform, and portals. Moving on to the crucial criteria for any type of business, which is analytics and reporting, because you need to get deep analysis of all of the different sales processes inside your company to have valuable insights and make data-driven decisions. 
So both Zoho and HubSpot offer standard reports, custom reports that are a bit limited in HubSpot, charts, KPIs, funnels, target metrics, cohorts, but HubSpot also lacks some of the analytic features such as quadrants, ML detectors, web form analytics, and web form A-B testing. Obviously, technologies are evolving and we're all using artificial intelligence. So now let's talk about different artificial intelligence functions in Zoho CRM and HubSpot CRM. Both of the CRM systems provide such features as lead conversion prediction, deal closure prediction, data enrichment, and best time to contact. HubSpot also lacks some of the features as macro suggestion, prediction builder, recommendation engine, and image validation. Next criteria that I want to talk about is sales enabling. So HubSpot Sales Hub offers a similar array of sales enablement features, managing quotes and sales orders is available as standard. However, Sales Hub doesn't have an option to create price books by product and the lack of advanced features like Zoho CRM Sales Inbox, which automatically prioritizes and organizes your emails according to deals in your pipeline is also a major drawback. Obviously, the main function of the CRM system is sales automation, but I want to talk about the marketing automation options in both of these CRM systems. So to get advanced marketing features, you can integrate Sales Hub to Marketing Hub, but by default, HubSpot CRM doesn't provide such features as marketing campaigns, marketing attribution, customer segmentation, and AdWords integration. And the last criteria that I want to talk about is team collaboration. So for team collaboration, both Zoho CRM and HubSpot offer a wide range of features, but in HubSpot, Gamescope and also Collaboration Chat Tool are additional paid-ons. And in Zoho CRM, Collaboration Chat Tool is Zoho Click that integrates within Zoho CRM and has an absolutely free version. As you can see, Zoho CRM provides a bit more functions than HubSpot CRM, but now let's compare the pricing for both of the CRM systems and see which one has a better value for money. So Zoho CRM offers an absolutely free version that you can use and pricing plans start from 14 euros per user per month. We're making our comparison of features with an enterprise version of Zoho CRM which is 40 euros per user per month. If we're talking about the sales hub, sales hub professional pricing plan starts from $90 per user per month and sales hub enterprise, which we made a comparison with is $150 per user per month. And sales hub also has an absolutely free version that you can use. So as you can see, Zoho CRM is a bit cheaper than HubSpot, but the difference in what you can save by using Zoho CRM is becoming absolutely crazy if you have a larger amount of employees in your company. So in conclusion, you can see that Zoho CRM is leading in all of the categories that we made a comparison in, the reviews, the pricing, and the feature comparison. If you want to try Zoho CRM for yourself and see if it suits the needs of your business, I will leave the link to a free trial down below in the description box. And also, if you want to learn how you can use Zoho CRM for the needs of your business, I will leave down below in the description box the link to a free consultation with one of our experts where you can ask any questions that you like and we will consult you absolutely for free. So in conclusion, Zoho CRM and HubSpot CRM both are very good CRM systems, but Zoho is a bit better and has better value for money. Write in the comments below which CRM system do you prefer and also, again, don't forget to try Zoho CRM for yourself. The link will be down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that it was helpful for you. If it was, please make sure to leave a like and also subscribe to our channel because we produce a lot of useful content for you every single week.